Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Touchstalk here. It's Nick. How are you guys doing? Today I got a review on the Hi Fry Man RE242 in your -ear earbuds. Before I start this review, I would like to thank Hi Fry Man for sending this product out for review purposes. Now let's get on into this review. So there are actually no price for these earbuds, and the reason why is that these earbuds are still in production, so you cannot go out and buy yourself a pair of these earbuds just yet. Here is a closer look at the actual earbuds themselves. You can see that they got a chrome surrounding right here. So now let's get into the pros and cons. So the first pro for this is that you can see the end of the earbuds are color coded, which I really love this feature because you don't have to basically guess. If you're like, say you're in your room, it's really dark out or whatever, you basically have to guess what earbud to put it in but now all you have to do you can see this in the dark I already tried it out so now all you have to do is look see that red goes for the right and blue goes for the left another pro for this is that it has a gold tip which gives for the best sound quality possible the last pro for this in my opinion is that the end where you plug it in is bent so that means that it's gonna give your earbuds a longer lifespan. Since I already tried, and this is very hard to bend, you actually, it's not even possible to bend, which gives for a longer lifespan for the earbuds, which is very nice. Another pro to these is that they have one of the best noise isolation earbuds I've ever like ever used. As soon as you put them in, you cannot hear even when there's not music in your earbuds you cannot hear people talking and when I had them on medium volume and I was in the car my brother would be trying to talk to me I did not hear him which I really like because then you don't know like you don't have any distractions distracting you from your music so on to the cons the first con I found was that this wire gets very tangled very easily I've been using these earbuds for a week now and whenever I shove them into my pocket they would always always get tangled so whenever I pulled them out, they would always be tangled and I always have to untangle them. Another con I found, well, for me personally, is that there's not that much bass. I mean, there is bass, but not a lot, which some people don't want and some people don't actually like bass. But personally, I love bass in the songs. It just makes it better. And these earbuds just don't provide that much. I'm going to do my best to give you guys a sound test on these earphones. So what I'm going to do is I plugged these earbuds into my iPod Touch and now I am going to put the earbuds up closest to the microphone as possible and obviously this isn't one that's going to sound like in your ear, I'm just going to try to give you an overall example since I cannot plug these earbuds directly into my camera, although that would be pretty epic and I just punched my camera. <laughs> um, here we go. Okay, so I think you heard enough. So I really like the sound, besides the lack of bass, I really like the sound on these earbuds. Because of the noise isolation, you can't really hear anything, which is uh, great. And it's just really good sounding, besides the lack of bass, but that just might be um, just me. But I know there's a lot of people who like to um, hear bass, but what I would recommend doing, if you like bass, would if you have it on your MPC player or iPod, go to um, your settings, then on the EQ, oop, wrong button, put it on bass booster because then actually now it sounds like um, I, there is bass on my earbuds, which is really great. So definitely I recommend anything that boosts the um, bass, definitely recommend you put that on with these earbuds. So I can't really give a rating on these earbuds since these are just prototypes and the actual earbuds are still in production, which means that they are probably going to get better. 
But say that um, Hi-Fi Man was selling them right now. If the price was, let's say, zero to thirty bucks, then these would be worth it. But if they were thirty bucks or up, well, I guess they would sort of be good. But if they were thirty bucks or up, you could probably for um, just a little more, like forty, you could probably get a lot better quality earbuds. But from zero to thirty, these earbuds are great. And I really like the sound on them. I will be using them when the earbuds I have right now break, which probably they um, one ear actually bursted. So actually, I'm going to use these from now on. But yeah, so that's the rating. I would like to thank anyone who watched it to this point because that is um, any videos that you watch till the end. It just really helps the company out because it might give you a chance to buy it. So just thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you liked this style review, please click the subscribe button. It helps me get more products for reviews so I can put out more videos. And also, um, this has nothing to do with this video. I would like to say that I created a gaming channel. Um, it's called Rada Smada. The link will be in the description box below. I currently do not have any sort of capture card, so I'm not going to be posting any full real matches of whatever whatever game I feel like uh, posting so for now I will just be posting epic uh, like tomahawk kills and and black ops and basically any nice sniper whatever whatever nice kill I get I will be posting that because I bet you no one would watch my the video if I just put my camera on the screen and um, like watching that for 10 minutes I actually wouldn't watch that either so if you uh, could please subscribe to that channel I would really really appreciate that the more subscribers I get which tells me um the more like uh, people want to see more gaming so that will probably give me a better chance of buying a capture card of sorts so uh, thanks again for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I will see you guys later.